Kevin and Sherry, all these people who love you and care for you have gathered here tonight to celebrate a wonderful event in your life, obviously. Because other than your birth, this is the most important day in your life, as the two of you become one in the sacrament of marriage. To me, Sherry is my sister who's adventurous and passionate and lucky in life and love and a positive sunshine, always brightening up the room, one of the most positive people that I know. I can remember playing the perfect wedding game as girls, where you plan your perfect wedding. We play that game over and over, and I think this wedding certainly surpasses any wedding we would make up as kids. To Sherry, I could not be happier that you found a partner in life and someone to lean on and someone who loves you for exactly who you are. To Kevin, as family grows, grows in strength, and it's with arms wide open that we welcome you to our family officially. And to you both, I hope you take a moment to look around at all the people who are here to support you, who love you, and you take and capture this memory. Growing up, I thought uh, if you'd asked my mom, I'd probably have been the best man at his wedding. She would have uh, told you she, I was crazy. Um, I used to, we used to get in fights all the time. I sit in the emergency room, hit him over the head with a tennis racket. I locked him in the bathroom to get on my nerves. And she had to sit between us whenever we went on any long trips because we'd always drag down fist fights in the van. <laughs> I uh, often joke that um, Kevin met Sherry. Uh, three months before Ben and I met, and we've been married for seven years this year, Ben and I have been. <laughs> I always thought they'd end up together, though. The, um, the wise King Solomon said, I know the one whom my soul loves, and I believe, truly believe that's who Kevin has found. I think the only thing that he enjoys more than uh, breaking our records is telling us about it for years and years to come. <laughs> So, but hey, he's got a great sense of humor, so it's, it's all in fun. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentle spirit be known to all men. The Lord is near. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything be prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. <laughs> Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if these... If there is any excellence and if anything is worthy of praise, dwell in these things. The things you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace be with you. Kevin's not the most decisive person in the world. Uh, you know, a lot of times when there's a meaningful decision to be made, you know, all of you know that are close to him, you may be getting a call asking, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Um, you know, it was a guy that couldn't even pick a sport. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I, I will say this, uh, Sherry, that uh, you know, he never asked me uh, if you were the right person for him to marry. And I don't think he asked a lot of the rest of us. And I think that says something about that decision and his confidence in you. Uh, I think that speaks a lot. I wait patiently. Sherry, you're truly best to have found your soulmate. And I truly, truly believe that Kevin will make an awesome husband, father, and provider for your future family. And Kevin, I'm very proud to call you my brother-in-law. And here's to a continuing our tradition of lifelong marriages in our family. I love you both. He 
learned a lot of things in sports. Uh, things like every day matters and the things that you do on a daily basis will determine the man that you become and the marriage that you enjoy. You know, every day you're on the path to becoming something, whether it's intentional or not. Psalm 37, five to seven says, commit your way to the Lord, trust in him and he will act. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light, your justice as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Kevin, you come from a family of men that have committed to their wives. You know, grandparents that have committed to their wives, parents that have committed to their wives, brothers that have committed to their wives. My prayer and challenge to you is that you will continue that tradition and embrace this new life. Compete for the affections of your spouse the way you did when you first met her. Let your confidence be in your identity in the Lord. He will guide you in your decisions if you trust in Him. Father, you have made the bonds of marriage a holy mystery, a symbol of Christ's love for his church. Hear our prayers for Kevin and Sherry. With faith in you and in each other, they pledge their love today. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of that love. And we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. gathered together here this evening for this wonderful occasion as Kevin and Sherry become one in the sacrament of marriage. And so as you say your vows to each other, put everything else out of your mind. And really, don't just repeat them after me, but really think and pray about what you are saying. Because they are the most important few words that you will ever say to each other other than always remember to say, I love you and I'm sorry. Because as we heard in the gospel, this is a part of God's plan, that a man leave his father and mother and join to his wife and the two become one. And so as you walked in here as two separate individuals, you will leave here as husband and wife for the rest of your lives. And so may God be with both of you and may bring to completion the good things he has begun in you both. Kevin and Sherry, have you come here freely and without reservations to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. yes. Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. yes. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Yes. Since it is your intention to enter into the sacrament of marriage, I ask you now to join your right hands together Declare your consent before God and His Church. I, Kevin, take you, Sherry. I, Kevin, take you, Sherry. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Sherry, take you, Kevin. I, Sherry, take you, Kevin. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. 
all the days of my life. Sherry, I take this ring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As a sign of my love and fidelity. Of a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Kevin, take this ring. Kevin, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. For Sherry and Kevin, who begin their married life together this day, may they experience the love of God and the support of family and friends and the blessings of children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May God, the Almighty Father, give you his joy and bless you. May the only Son of God have mercy on you and help you in good times and in bad. May the Holy Spirit of God always fill your hearts with his love. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is now my great pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Bookout. You may now kiss.